All right, so we're going to look at another method for finding the greatest common factor, so commonly called the GCF. So greatest common factor, if we were to kind of reduce this down to what does it really mean? It means what's the largest whole number that you could divide two or more numbers by, right? So we're looking for the factors or what you can divide a number by. And so if you have two of them, what's the biggest number? And so you might be able to see it, but you might not see it right away. So another method that you can use is using something called prime factorization. Um, so if we were to list the prime factors of a number, which are the prime numbers of multiply gives you that number, um, we can use those to figure out the GCF. So I've got some steps here on the right, so let's look at a quick example. So let's say we had the numbers 18 and 24, and you're asked to find what is the biggest, the greatest common factor that those two numbers have. Um, what we're going to do is follow step number one, it says create a factor tree for each number. To create a factor tree, what we're doing is we're going to split up a number into a pair of factors that give us that number. So for instance, we could say the numbers 3 and 6, when multiplied together, would give us the number 18. Since I'm finding the prime factorization, that means once I get to a prime number, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on, I'm just going to circle it and say that's I have stopped with that leg of it. Then I'm going to continue. So 6 could be split into 2 and 3. 2 and 3 are both prime, so I would circle both of those. So I've now completed a factor tree for the number 18. Now I'm going to complete one for the number 24. So we could do, for instance, 4 and 6, because 4 times 6 equals 24. I can, neither of those are prime numbers, so I'm going to keep going. 2 and 2 would give us 4. Those are both prime, so I'm going to circle them. And then 2 and 3 would give us 6, and so I'm going to circle those. So I've completed the prime factorization of each of those things. Those are the prime numbers that when multiply give us that number. Next, I'm going to num set number two over here. We're going to list all the prime factors in order from least to greatest. We're not going to use exponential notation. Sometimes you do that when using primes, but we're not going to be doing that at this point in time. 18 equals 2 times 3 times 3. And then 24 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Then I'm going to move on to my next step right over here. It says draw loops to connect the common factors. So I'm going to see they both have a 2. They both have at least 1, 3. And then the other numbers they do not have in common. This goes on to then step number 4, multiply the common factors by each other. A hint, you should be multiplying the same amount of numbers as loops you've drawn. We've drawn two green loops here which means we're multiplying two numbers. So we're going to multiply a 2 times a 3. That's what they have in common. 6 is our answer. So that means the GCF equals 6. So 6 is the biggest number that is a factor of both 18 and 24. We'll do one more quick example. I'm just going to draw a line right here. Let's say we had the numbers 28 and 42. I'm going to start by making a factor tree for each number to get the prime factorization. So we could say this is 7 times 4. 7 is a prime number, so I would circle it. 4 can split into 2 and 2. Those are both prime. 42 could split into 6 and 7. 7 is prime. 6 could split into 2 and 3. Those are both prime. Step number 2, list the prime factors in order from least to greatest. 28 equals 2 times 2 times 7. 42 equals 2 times 3 times 7. Again, we're going to look for what do the two lists have in common. They both have 1, 2. They both have 1, 7. Step number 4, multiply the common things together. That's going to be a 2 times 7, 14. That means the GCF of those two numbers is 14. Now, we could also do this if there was a third number, and then we would just have three lists, and we would still be looking for what they have in common. Um, but that's all you have to do to find the greatest common factor using the prime factorization.